This time we have a crane model with a difference. It's the Liebherr GLTM 1094.2 and it's an armoured mobile crane. And as you can see from the picture on the box, it's been developed for military use. The model is made by WSI Models and it has the model number 522034. Firstly, let's check out the total weight of the box and it's two pounds, 15 ounces or about 1.34 kilograms. On we go to open the box and get the model out. It's no surprise to find a pair of expanded polystyrene trays. And also in the box is a card. On one side is a photo of the real crane. And on the other side, it links to a QR code to take you to some more information. It's always helpful when the trays are marked top and bottom. And as you can see, they've been sealed together in the factory with tape. So it's time to get the knife out and do some cutting. And just look how fast you can go when you're an expert. Luckily, no fingers were removed during the filming of this video. But we can remove the top tray and there's the model wrapped in soft paper. Out it comes once it's removed from the wrapping. Also in the box is a bag of some parts and there's also the counterweight. For this model, there's no assembly to do to get it into a road configuration. To start with, this model has some additional protection underneath at the front end. And the rest of the chassis is detailed in pretty much the same way as the standard crane. It is very good with all of the transmission and suspension components modelled. And the road tyres have a decent tread pattern. The armoured carrier cab is very different and looks great. And the heavy duty riveting is nicely replicated. The windows on this type of crane are much smaller and there are some interesting graphics on the front. There's a tying point for the hook and the steps into the cab are also a bit different on this model. And while we're here, the hook is a metal part and it has sheaves which are formed in a single block rather than separate, which is a pity. The decoration on the side is really good with plenty of tiny graphics. And these give the model a very realistic appearance. Another very nice touch on this model is the branding in the sidewalls of the tyres. The crane cab on this model is also armoured. And again, you can see the rivets and the very small windows. The grab rails are metal and there are more tiny graphics. Looking inside the cab, you can just about see that there's a leap hair graphic on the seat back. There are very nice hard rubber skirts over the wheels. And at the back, the extensive small graphics continue. The rear end is also very different with different equipment. And the lights have plastic lenses. Looking at the other side of the crane, there's some more fine detailing of the hydraulics. And overall, it gives it an intricate appearance. There's also a difference on the main boom with this box and ladder attached. Moving on to look at the outrigger beams. The pistons have smooth faces and there are nice graphics. With the boom up, we can see the detail in the engine area. And there's an excellent mesh grille and lots more fine detailing of various components. And that includes the exhaust system. There are more etched parts and the texturing on the carrier deck also looks great in this black colouring. The main boom ram has a metal jacket. Moving on to the boom sections, and they have a realistic profile, and the safety hoist cutoff chain is also modelled. Going back underneath the model, and all of the wheels spin independently, and there is steering on each of the axles. The range of movement on a couple of them is fairly moderate but there's enough to get some interesting poses. Let's try the crane out on the Cranes Etc test track. And rolling along in a straight line is not quite so smooth, with not all of the wheels fully grounded. Also, because some of the steered axles have mechanisms which are a little loose, it does mean that they tend to run out of line when you push the model along. 
but you can replicate all modes. So here we are on military operations, so let's set the crane up and the two stage outrigger beams extend in the usual way. To lower the pistons you have to unscrew them and included with the model is a set of plastic spreader plates. You can just about pose the model wheels free and you'll see why in a moment. Another nice touch on a model like this is always to have the working deck access ladders and these can be rotated and folded down. Next we'll release the hook from its transport position and then it's time for getting the stiff boom up. You can easily raise it with your fingers and you lock it in place with an allen key into a tiny grub screw. At this point we can look at the profile of the outrigger beams and see they're not perfectly straight and if they were you'd be able to get a better wheels free performance. Next we see the counterweight and it's made up of a number of parts like the real one and from the pictures on the box it doesn't look like any is carried on board when the crane is on the road. During assembly the counterweight can be placed in two positions and that's to allow it to either be fixed on a shorter radius or if we fold out the vario ballast tabs the counterweight can be fixed at a longer radius and it gets positioned accordingly. There are simulated working hydraulic rams and you operate those using the allen key. And to fit the counterweight the easiest way to do it is to offer the block up to those hydraulic rams. The ends then get pushed in and slotted in and you then tighten it by screwing up the hydraulic rams using the allen key. Of course you can freely rotate the crane into any operating position and you telescope out the boom in the usual way by pulling them and this military specification only has four sections. The locking points are approximately at 50%, 90% and 100% and the winch works very well using a supplied key. It's spring loaded and it has a positive brake action. So it's nice to play crane driver. Lastly let's check on how big the model is and do a dim check. And to the top it's about 30 inches or 76 centimetres. This is an unusual version of a crane and it's great that WSI have not just painted the crane army green but instead there are several new castings to give it a proper appearance. It looks great in an army colour scheme and if you fancy something of a military disposition it is excellent.